Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys another doll out of my doll collection. This is Mary Ellen. And Mary Ellen was made by Madame Alexander in 1953. She is probably one of the largest dolls that was made by Madame Alexander. She is 31 inches tall. Uh, she um, is considered kind of a rare doll to find, um, especially in any really good condition. And I had purchased her off of eBay uh, a couple of years ago and uh, when I found her I was I was really happy to have found her um, because she's she is rare but um, she does have um, a couple of flaws um, she was a I don't know I think I I got her for a pretty good deal but um, still being a rare doll uh, she can be very very pricey so um, I did go ahead and purchase her because the deal I got her for, um, it was really a good deal for the doll that she is. Um, she is made out of all hard plastic and um, um, most of um, uh, Madame Alexander's dolls are hard plastic or composition. And I believe she is a walker doll and I'm going to try to lift her up here and see if I can't remember if her head's attached to her. Yeah, she's a walker. So when you move her legs back and forth, um, her head goes back and forth. So um, just to point out a few of her flaws, I'm gonna get her really close because most of her flaws are in her face. Her body is actually in pretty good shape. She does have just a slight uh, older uh, odor to her. Um, some of the... Uh, older dolls that are made out of hard plastic um, do um, tend to have kind of a spoiling smell about them and I don't know if um, if there's any way to to keep that from happening or to keep it from getting any worse than it is but um, I'm actually um, looking to um, to downsize my collection and so because she is so large and this would be the only reason why I would ever consider parting with her um, is is because she is she's large and I don't have enough room to accommodate uh, such a large doll other than that um, I would definitely hold on to her but um, so in her face most of uh, most of the damage is and I wouldn't say this damage it's probably just um, somebody that knows restoration could probably fix her up with no problem but um, so probably the worst things are like this little cheek rub um, it's showing somewhat more of the pink uh, the pink cheek through uh, that outside paint and then there's a little scuff on her nose she does have all of her eyelashes if you guys can see that but she's missing her eyebrows but like I said, you know, somebody that can do uh, restoration work um, can uh, fix that rather easily. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, sure of myself enough to to try that. So um, when I do uh, sell her, I will be selling her in an as-is condition. Um, she does have a little bit of a paint nick on her uh, lip, but that again, I mean, that's it's really. Uh, not that big of a deal so um, the only uh, other item of concern is the yellowing of her eyes and some of it could just be um, from you know soiling because I haven't really cleaned this doll either um, I'm always a little leery to dig in onto my vintage dolls and and clean them because I do not want to uh, destroy or to hurt them in any way so I actually haven't I haven't done any um, any cleaning of her so this is how I received her and um, um, for her being from 1953 she's she's actually in really good shape her hair is um, 
it might be cut, but I'm not. I'm not too sure because Madame Alexander had a lot of uh, short hairstyles as well. But um, you can see the top of her head, maybe. You can bring the camera in. Uh, always high bangs uh, for Madame Alexander dolls. So I know that those are not cut. Um, and the back seems like it's still very, very full in that wig. Um, and I'm not too sure. I think it's just a, a regular wig that's on her. Um, could be one of those uh, skull wigs. It's hard to tell. Her wig's on there pretty well. So um, very good, uh, good condition uh, with that. Um, all the rest of her body is in pretty good shape. I'm going to try to do the best I can to show you guys um, uh, her dress. And I am not for sure if this is an original dress to her or if it is something else. Because um, I think um, Patty Playpal um, was maybe just a little bit bigger than her, but... Um, it could be a dress from a different doll, but it's very, very pretty. And once cleaned, I would imagine it would be uh, really, really nice. But you can see that it's got these uh, flowers all over on it. And there doesn't seem to be any real apparent damage to that. Uh, a little bit of sun damage, probably from display. Um, and that could be the case with her eyes as well. And then underneath, and I'm hoping that you guys will be able to see this, um, this part of the dress, it looks like might might be original to her because I know that this, this is a characteristic of Madame Alexander to have several slips and netting underneath. She does have a little bit of discoloring. Let me see if I can lift her up for you guys. She has a little bit of discoloring on her pantaloons. If you guys can see that. So quite a bit of, of discoloring on those uh, from age. Um, they're starting to tear a little bit. And then also to possibly uh, not uh, chipped paint, but it's faded paint on her legs. Let's see if I can lift those up so you guys can see. You can see that right in there. But um, anybody, like I said, that can restore a doll, um, it would probably be no, no problem at all. And then it appears that she does have on her original shoes. So... Um, she does, like I said, she does carry a little bit of that slight odor of, of the uh, plastic or hard plastic dolls. Um, but it's not, it's not real, real serious. And somebody that knows about that may be able to help fix that problem. And then her markings are on the back side of her head, right underneath her wig. And all of this under here that you can see... Um, all of that is glue from her wig and I don't know if that's if it's been placed on there twice um, but um, sorry I bumped the camera um, but that's nothing unusual I see that on a lot on uh, Alexander dolls so they're not real careful with the with the hairline but up underneath there you can see um, it says Alexander right there on her neck right there and She's just a very large, large doll. And these dolls, when they are in better condition than this one, I would say that this one's probably poor condition, um, just because of some of the things that need to be fixed on her and the restoration of her. But um, to have the doll is, is a fantastic thing because this doll is very hard to find um, in any condition, so. Um, one thing about her outfit too is she's got this little shawl and it looks like it may have been attached at one point or part of something else um, like it was cut away from it so I don't know if it would have been a part of another part of the dress I'm not sure about that or if it would have been uh, something else onto the shawl Let's see if I can bend the camera down so you guys can get an idea of what that looks like as well she is still a magnificent doll. She's so pretty. Uh, Madame Alexander dolls are, are beautiful dolls. And um, to have had her in my collection has really, really been, um, really been fun to have her. But uh, like I said, I, I will be downsizing my collection because it's way, way too much. 
and it kind of breaks my heart but um, she is just too large of a doll um, this doll uh, she deserves to have a good spot and instead of being stored and um, and displayed she she needs to be displayed she's a really pretty doll when she's her face is fixed and um, her hair and to get her back to as much of it as the of the original as possible um, she would be an outstanding doll so um, if anybody knows I've seen pictures of the Mary Ellen and some of the outfits that she could have worn um, but I have not spotted this one so if anybody has any ideas uh, maybe this dress looks familiar um, on one of your other dolls um, that you have uh, a large doll of course um, uh, please leave that in the comments for me um, I would be happy to find out if this was a dress that she would have worn so um, so this is Mary Ellen and if you guys like Mary Ellen please like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video